Action Aid is helping to resettle flood victims living in internally displaced persons camps in Delta State. The non-governmental organization is also distributing household items and donating cash. But it wants government to provide relief for those whose means of livelihood have been destroyed by this year's floods. Ikena Amechi reports. There are more than 11 IGP camps in Delta State housing more than 18,000 persons displaced by floods. Although the state government has taken precautions following early warning signs, several lives were lost with farmlands and property worth millions of naira swept away. The waters are now receding and those who once occupied them are gradually returning to their homes. Maybe Festus, a mother of seven, is one of them. She fears for her life outside the camp. Um, water carry me, and secondly, my husband will leave me. With the honzo, the chop, my children, they go job. If they fit up, they go go. For action aid, the distribution of household items is to help mostly women and children resettle into their communities. The people in the camps are preparing to go back to the communities. As our camp will be closed by Sunday today, this other camp, Kuali camp, should be closed by next week too. So these women, they need things to go back to when they go home. So we have to first of all address um, the home utensils for them. Then we also were also able to identify the women that are the most vulnerable and would also require um, some form of some form of monetary gifts or monetary. Um, relief material, so to say, that can help them rebuild their lives again. The gesture by the NGO is appreciated and locals say many more interventions of this kind are needed. For me, I want to use opportunity to say a very big thank you to them, the management of Fashion Aid, for taking this very bold step to come and identify with these internally displaced persons, particularly in, in Kuala Camp here. Yeah? Most of our things, the flood destroyed it, but they helped us so that if we go back now, we we'll start from somewhere. So I have to say thank you to them. Uh, these people call help us. When everybody may be safe, flood carry for you. Mm -hmm. So they call help us, so we compensate us for what happened to us. We also use this time to even they thank them, say God will bless them. The crisis of this year's floods may not be forgotten in a hurry across several states in the country. As the rains intensified, several communities and towns across the country were submerged underwater. There are many more who may not be able to resettle without the help of this kind. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Kwale.